Ryan Spateri, the Communications Manager here at the Brant County Health Unit. Here with me I have Dr. Elizabeth Urbanke, Acting Medical Officer of Health at BCHU. Uh, as per usual, can we do a quick roll call for all those joining us? I'll just have you state your name and affiliation. Samantha Lee, Brant.1. Michelle Ruby, the Brantford Expositor. Patty Berardi, Rogers TV. Perfect, thank you. In a moment, I'll turn it over to Dr. Banky to make a brief statement. Um, as per usual, again, if you could put your phone on mute if you're able to, we'd appreciate it. We'll also save uh, questions for the end. I'll now turn it over to Dr. Banky. Thank you once again for joining us. On Wednesday, the Ministry of Health informed public health units across the province of a new directive regarding COVID-19 response in long-term care homes. Public health units will now be responsible for the coordination of proactive surveillance testing for all staff and residents at long-term care homes in their jurisdiction. Grant County Health Unit has already begun the initial planning on this initiative with our community partners at the Brant Community Health Care System, EMS, and long-term care homes in our jurisdiction. The health unit will be responsible for arranging for the testing to occur, providing swabs, delivery and pickup of swabs from the long-term care homes, coordinating the shipment of swabs to labs, and tracking and reporting the, of the test results. BCHU's duties in supporting testing in long-term care homes will not change. What will change, however, is the scope of this work. All long-term care residents and staff will be tested regardless of their contact to confirm cases or the presence of symptoms. This decision was made by the Ministry to further protect our most vulnerable residents and those who care for them. While the cases in long-term care homes locally have not been as widespread as some of the neighboring communities, this measure will be another useful tool we can all use in our overall efforts to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Thank you, Dr. Banke. I'll now open it up for questions. Dr. Banke, Samantha Lee with Grant.1. I'm wondering if um, the latest staff member at St. Joseph's Life Care Center was connected to the previous case announced back on April 2nd. We have no evidence of that at this time. Can you um, maybe speak to why you think the local health care, uh, long-term care facilities are doing better locally than they are in neighboring communities like Anson Place? Um, I can't comment on specific uh, for other localities. I think uh, we, uh, the health unit has a, um, a pre-existing relationship with uh, the long-term care facilities and retirement homes in our jurisdiction prior to COVID, um, where we interacted um, in, re in regards to other either respiratory or gastrointestinal outbreaks and also um, provided infection prevention and control education and support. So I think um, this builds on our uh, pre-existing relationships. Thank you. Uh, it's Patty from Rogers TV. Do we know if the staff, how the staff person at St. Joe's contracted the virus and was it a healthcare worker that possibly worked at another facility? I don't have those details at this time. At this time, however, um, they're not supposed to be moving between facilities. The direction was that they had to pick one facility and just work there. Do we know the last date that the person worked or when they came down with the symptoms? Uh, I believe uh, so. This uh, this healthcare worker was uh, this healthcare worker was tested due to the mass swabbing and testing that's going on at St. Joe's. It wasn't. Um, it was part of that. Are we currently up to date on all of the testing? Is there a backlog now that there's been an increase in? and test in our long-term care homes? You mean provincially, like a, a delay yeah. in um, 
I don't know the average uh, number uh, off uh, the top of my head, but in participating with provincial calls, this is being very closely monitored um, to ensure there's not uh, a backlog again. But certainly, um, it, they have significantly increased uh, testing capacity. Do you know, Dr. Urbanski, how long it's taking to receive test results at this time? I have seen test results come back within 24 hours and up to four days, I would say, in the past week. So beyond that, there may be outliers, but I can't speak to anything in specific. I got disconnected from the call for a couple of minutes there, sorry. So I, this, this question may have already been asked. Um, uh, it's about the St. Joseph's, um, uh, the staff member who's tested positive. Is this a, a permanent staff member who would have had a lot of contact with um, residents? Sorry, I don't have those details. The staff member was tested as positive part of the mass swabbing um, that's going on for all residents and uh, staff people at St. Joseph's. Okay. Uh, so the you're not aware of of, uh, of what kind of contact that that person would have had with residents, and and is there contact tracing going to be done? Oh, of course, uh, with contact tracing is always done. So. Um, we, uh, we will facilitate contact tracing within the home and also in the community. Okay. Well, of the six new cases, do we know if they're close contact or community transmission or how these new cases contracted the virus? Uh, for the, the six, uh, for the cases since uh, we last spoke, um, Three are close contacts of a confirmed case, and the rest are suspected community um, transmission. If I could just go back to the St. Joseph's Life Care staff member one more time. Now that you've had one staff member test positive during the mass swabbing, will there be more testing being done to ensure that any, anyone in that home may not have picked it up from that particular staff member? Well, they've all been basically uh, swabbed over the past two to three days, the whole facility. Um, I wanted to ask about um, Ferrero. Um, there's been, um, I think, some confirmed positive cases there in the plant. Uh, does the health unit have any role in, um, you know, uh, advising whether the plant should close particular areas? Certainly, we have been in contact with Ferrero uh, with respect to the situation as we would with any workplace. Um, and we've uh, been uh, working with them, providing recommendations around protocols. Have you any idea how many uh, positive cases there are in the plant? At three. Among three? Yeah. Um, and have you been advising them in terms of shutting down particular areas of the plant? As I said, we're working with them um, with respect to uh, infection prevention and control, providing recommendations and around any protocols that need to be put in place or work recommendations. Okay. Um, okay, I think those are my questions.